Hey everybody, Lois with Ellie Grace's Attic and Finn. Are you gonna say hi, Finn? He likes to be in on the crafting sometimes. <laughs> I thought I'd come on this afternoon or this evening actually and do a quick, super easy lemon craft for you guys tonight. Um, pardon the mess behind me. I've got an event coming up I'm planning for. I got all kind of stuff going on, so just pardon my mess. But uh, I'm going to show you how to do a quick, easy, like I said, quick and easy is always good. Um, lemon craft. I don't know. I'm fascinated with all the fruits this summer. Pineapples, lemons, they're so much fun. But look at this super cute ribbon we're going to be using. That was kind of my inspiration. I found this. Uh, this is from Hobby Lobby. Like actually a few months ago and I've been holding on to it to do a summer craft so this was my inspiration here um, and a lot of times what I'll do I just kind of have a little workspace behind me like a credenza and I'll just I had this out and just as I think of stuff I kind of stack it up so I stacked up this cute little just wooden block I had in my wood pile in the shop to use. It was already painted uh, distressed white. It still has some metal staples in it. I left those in there. Um, so we're going to use that. We're going to use this wood slice that I had on hand. I've got some um, bright yellow paint, some charcoal black, some white we're going to use. I've got a couple buttons you know I always have twine, so we're going to do that. Got my hot glue gun fired up. Got a blow dryer because we're going to need to dry some paint. I think I'm ready. I'm, we're going to go for it. I wanted to do a buffalo plaid like this um, ribbon for the background. And I actually bought a stencil here a while back off of Amazon that I thought would be cute. And I actually tried it last night because I thought, you know, let me, I haven't used it. And I was like, let me test it out. And this is what, I don't like it. I mean, it's cute. Don't get me wrong. It's cute. But I don't, it was too big for this small little piece. So we're just going to hand paint ours. This is just going to be the back. So it's still cute on the back, but this is going to be our front. So I'm just going to tape it off. I'm not doing really a true buffalo plaid because that involves, um, different shades of black, that sort of thing. I do a buffalo plaid ornament and it's just a little involved. So for this, to keep it easy, we're just gonna do a simple black and white plaid on the back, I mean on the, um, the background. And I'm gonna tape it off. So usually, tape it off. You wanna put your first piece of tape in the center and I'm just eyeballing it because you know that's how I roll. <laughs> We're gonna eyeball that in the center. And this is really, I'll say that, I don't think I'm perfectly on a square. I'm gonna line it up there just to kinda be, I don't wanna have a crooked stripe, so. I just kinda lined it up to the edge of the desk so my make sure my sign wasn't totally crooked. So I'm gonna tape that down really good. That's your center mark. So that's going to help. We're not really measuring, but we are kind of measuring, if that makes sense. This is going to be my um, filler tape, if that makes sense. That's going to make sure that our stripes are the same width apart. So just line it up next, th next to your center there. And then we're going to just kind of tape it off that way. So I'm kind of going over the edges to be easier, make a uh, peel off easier. So this one, you just, you're just really button them up next to each other. This one's going to be kind of tricky because I got those staples. So I'm just going to make sure the um, it's, you know, again, it's not going to be exactly perfect, but it'll be close. It'll have the illusion of being even. This one we can peel up now. This is an easy way to get even stripes. Again, not going to be perfect, but just going to have mostly perfect. Let's say that. <laughs> 
Thank you, Wesley. I'm just reading the comments. I appreciate that. I mean, if you got to be good at something. All right. So that's going to be our stripes. We'll save that one. We're going to make sure these are down and we're going to get started on this. I'm doing black and white like plaid. So we're going to start with that. Wesley, I hope you're paying attention. So you can help Kim make this sign. This is the perfect little size. This is probably about five by five, six by six. Perfect little size for um, your kitchen counter or a tiered tray. I just have a mop brush, dip that in there. Just kind of smooth out my tape and we're gonna do the first set of stripes. It's okay if you paint over tape. These are still gonna kind of be big stripes but not quite as big as the other one. I don't know, I think it's because it started like, I don't know what it was, it just threw me off about it. <laughs> I was like, that would be cute on a bigger sign, but I'm not feeling it for, I got a little, this one. All right. All right, so we got that down. Get some of the excess off. Put that over there. And while that's drying, we're gonna work on our wood slice. And let's see, I guess I can use this brush. I didn't get grab a brush for that. We're gonna use our yellow. We're gonna make a lemon slice. Wood slice, AKA lemon slice. Maybe. All right. So we've got that going on. Dip our brush in there. And I am just going to paint the lighter tan circle. It's going to be um, this bright yellow. Uh, let me see if I can read some comments here real quick. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Katrina. <gasps> Katrina got a tiered tray. I'm so excited. I love a tiered tray. All right, I'm just gonna kinda outline this. The wood slices, you can find wood slices at Hobby Lobby. Um, I got mine actually a big bag. It was more cost effective for me to get a big bag. I got it on Amazon. And if y'all are interested, I'll post the link later. I am not an affiliate, but I'll post the link for you. might have to do a couple of coats of there comes another country hey bub mm. it's first day of summer he's down there lapping up some extra media time while Nana goes live <laughs> all right I'm just trying to edge it real quick so because I want to leave the brown bark part. I don't really want to paint over that. I'm just trying to get the center yellow. Katrina, um, oh no, did you do, did you do the May Craft and Chow, Katrina? Are you going to be on tonight? Tonight, for those of you who don't know what Craft and Chow is, it's our monthly craft group. Kim, are you going to be on? And we have so much fun. Tonight's our live craft. All right, I'm just, again, rounding this out. And then we'll get that center part. Hey, Buff. Yeah. Next time you can go downstairs. While Nana's live. 
I'm sure y'all heard that, you know, he just went to the bathroom. <laughs> At least he flushed. <laughs> I'm sorry. My art studio is upstairs in between the kids' room and bathroom and the guest room. <laughs> so he just came upstairs and, you know, he didn't think about, hey, let me not flush the toilet while my nana is on the live. So, you know, it's I'm just keeping it real. It's real life around here, girls. Real life. All right. Kind of just following the groove of the wood slice in a circle pattern. <laughs> oh. I usually go live at lunch, but we have been busy today doing all the things for the first day of summer. All right, that's mostly covered pretty good. So now it's the beginning of our lemon slice. So we're gonna let that dry. Our stripes should be mostly dry. We're gonna come back to this. We're gonna let it dry for a minute, I think. I'm gonna have to make a little bit of noise with my blow dryer here and dry some of this. It hasn't quite dried. Yeah, I'm gonna so, talk amongst yourself. was easy. It's always good to have a blow dryer handy when you are doing stuff like this that you are layering because it'll just dry. Acrylic dries really, really fast. So now we're going to pull the tape off. Yeah, we have a lot of fun in Craft and Chow. If you're interested in that, it's a monthly membership. $45 a month, you get all the supplies for a craft or the basic supplies for a craft delivered right to your door, access to our free Facebook group, it's a private group, and a monthly craft night. Plus you get two of my family's recipes, because you know, you gotta have chow when you craft. So here's our stripes so far. Now we're gonna tape it off the other way. So we're gonna turn our board and we'll get our center piece here. Same process, you're just going the other direction, you're crisscross. That looks about right. And let me get my filler tape. And I'm just using the same tape over, it's perfectly fine. As long as it's gonna stick, you're good. No sense in wasting good tape, right, Wesley? <laughs> uh, Kim says she's painting her sign as she speaks awesome. I painted mine a little bit earlier, pre-painting it so I can just do the wax part. It's um, Katrina, if you don't do that, it's okay, but um, it'll just, Go a little bit faster since it's the whole sign. I'm super excited. The Maycraft is really cute. For those of you who aren't in Craft and Child yet, our June craft is super cute too. It's a little patriotic gnome. He's so cute. Oh, Katrina painted hers too. Woohoo! All right. Now let's put this last piece right here. Maybe if it's going to stick. Yeah. It'll still be cute, even if it's not perfectly straight. The staples are kind of throwing my tape off just a tad bit, but it's all good. Yeah. All right, so now we're just going to paint in the opposite direction. I need a little bit 
more paint on my brush. Then, what is it today? All my boys are making boy noises. Dogs down here. Licking his foot. <laughs> oh my goodness. get a cup of water. Oops. That'll just have to hold for a minute. I'm going to move this up out of the way while we work on our lemon. Pretty sure, yeah, that's mostly dry. Move that out of the way. And we're going to use some white that just, <laughs> it's dry. Okay. There we go, we just need a little bit of the white. All right, we'll use this one, and now we are going to paint um, lemon wedges. So we're just gonna do crisscross applesauce kind of a deal. We're just gonna draw, I'm just using the, it's got a hole in it, we're not really using that, but I'm gonna use it kind of as a guide, so. Again, I'm eyeballing, not measuring this. Who knows, it might not look good. <laughs> I don't know, I have ideas in my head that don't always turn out when I actually do them. But hey, we're having fun. All right, so now we're gonna just draw. So we're just doing it like a, a plus sign. And I'm just going to the edge, the edge of the yellow. All right, and now we're just gonna, kinda like pizza slices. I gotta put my finger down though, so let me see. Super easy. So now we're on this last one. So we have that. Can you see that? It looks like a lemon already, but now I'm gonna go ahead and just go around the edge of around the circle with my white. Just to kind of I guess this is that, what do you call that? Is this the rind or the pith? What do you call that part? You know when you peel it back and it's got the white? Is that what it's called? I don't even know. It just came in my head. What's this called? <laughs> y'all have to love me. I know y'all do. That's why y'all are here because you never know what you're gonna get. The random thoughts of Lois never know but I definitely keep life interesting right <laughs> oh my goodness oh this is so cute I'm liking it now like I said sometimes you just don't know cute all right, I like that. Oh, darn it. All right, let me see if I can. Isn't that cute? A little lemon slice. Yay! Jordan, can you come see? Are you busy? Okay, I need help. Can you get Nana just like half of this with water, please, for my paintbrushes? I forgot to do it. 
Look, hey, bub, you can go in your bathroom. You don't have to go downstairs. All right, so now we're going to peel our paint, our paint, our painter's tape, I should say. Let me finish that sentence. All right, so there you see this is what we're going to have. Isn't that cute? I think I like that a lot better than that. I don't know, something about it was throwing me off. All right. Fine, baby. I just have to rinse my brushes. Thank you so much. You saved my life. All right. Just going to get these in there because nothing is worse than dry, crackly, ruined paint brushes. So, all right. Um, Danielle says, let me read some comments. Oh, let me not. I call it rind. That's what I thought, Kim. The Ryan, yep, I think y'all are right. Um, Chelsea, we are making a lemon sign. I'm going to show you a cute little lemon craft. This was the inspiration for those of you just joining. Um, <laughs> uh, that was the inspiration for our craft. So, Chelsea, why are you using my middle name on the internet? All right, so we took our sign. I had a little wood square. Like I said, this was the inspiration. I bought it a couple months ago. It's been on my cabinet. And as I walk by and think of what would go good with that or what can I do with that, things start coming together. And uh, I've had this little wood piece with it. It was white originally. And I wanted to mimic that plaid. So I had, I had bought a stencil like six months ago and I haven't used it yet and this is what it looked like I don't really fancy it so much so we made our own black and white plaid like so I showed you how to take that off we took a wood slice painted it yellow and then with white we made the little lemon wedges the whites the rind and so now we're gonna put it all together I've got some cute little buttons some twine and our ribbon and got my hot glue gun going. We're gonna put this lemon slice right in the center, like so. Actually, actually, hold on. I'm gonna dry this. Some of my white's not completely dry, so hang on. laughing about my middle name <laughs> all right so we're gonna hot glue this to the center of our little square <laughs> all right we're I'm putting the hole at the top because we're gonna cover that with a cute little bow here in a minute all right going to take just a second to dry so this is what we have isn't that cute shut the front door I like that okay now comes our inspiration we're going to do our ribbon if I can get it open I can never find they make this stuff hard to get into there we go Yes, Katrina, you were right. That is my baby girl calling me by my middle name. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Let me see how big I want this. I don't want it super big. But I think I want it probably about right there. We're eyeballing again. All right, so I'm only using this much of that whole thing. I might have to make some more of these. All right, I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm not doing a super big bow. I just um, probably should put, no, I'm not doing that. I was just thinking I should add some burlap under it to layer it. 
but I don't think I am. I think I'm just going to do this. I don't know. I lie. I'm going to put some burlap under it because I think it just needs an extra layer of something in there. Um, is this the right one? Hold on. I got, no, wrong one. Let me find the one. Y'all hang on. I got all these giant bags of ribbon under me. Am I going to have one that I may or may not be able to get into it? Let me see. Actually, nope, not long enough. Hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. I don't want paper. I know, sorry, change of plans. Well, I hate it when I can't find something that I need at the moment. Maybe I will use polka dot. I might. Nope. All right. I changed my mind. We're going to go with the original plan. I'm going to duck. I thought it might need burlap under it just to offset it, but I think we're going to go with what our original plan. Hey, Audio. Hope. All right, we're just going to duct tail the ends and we're just, we fold it in half. We're going to snip the corner off so you get that nice little duct tail. Make sure my end, my corners are even. Okay. All right, so now we have that. Cut me a little piece of twine. I don't need a big piece. This really isn't taking this long. It's just me talking that's taking the most time. So we're just going to kind of pleat it. Kind of, you can see I'm just pinching it, but kind of push that middle up. It kind of makes it look like it's pleated. And I'm just going to tie it. Nothing fancy. This is a nice, simple bow. Um, just to add that little extra something. And like I said, this ribbon was really, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do something else and make a bigger bow with this ribbon that has the burlap in it. But for this project, I really just wanted something simple. I'm gonna kind of wrap this around a couple of times and then tie a knot as tight as you can in the back. And don't worry if it pinches it up some more, we can straighten it out before we put it on the lemon. And I'm not really even worried about the tails. All right. So now we're just gonna kinda pretty it up. It's a wired ribbon, which I love that, cause you can kinda shape it afterwards. So we just have this, like a little bow tie. Um, kind of bend it up, get around, and we're gonna hot glue it right over that hole that we had. We're gonna put this bow on it. So I'm just gonna kind of get my hot glue like around that. That over there. And we're gonna pop our little ribbon right in the middle. Just hold it down till it gets good and stuck. Cute. I want that green to kind of show. It's got the little green leaves. So this is what we have so far. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> All right. So now, is that all no good? I've got a cute little green button and a little white one. 
And I thought I was just gonna, I don't know if I wanna do the just the green. Can y'all see that? Do I wanna do just the green? That's kind of cute. Or do I wanna do the green and stack the white? Can y'all you, probably can't see because my fingers. Should I stack the white on top of it? What do y'all think? Y'all talk to me. while I fix this bow. All right, we're gonna start, we're gonna go ahead and put the green down while y'all are thinking about it. We're just gonna put glue right on top of the twine. Let me get my glue stick in there. All right. All right. All right, here it is with just the green. Cute. Okay. Hi, Axel. Is Emma there too? Hi, Emma. Hi, Justin. Hi, Nala. Hi, Shadow. Hi, Diamond. Hi, Annie. Did I get everybody? Wait. Hi, Rascal. <laughs> All right, Kim says stacking gives it dimension. You are so right, Kim. Kim and Katrina for the win. We're going to stack this sucker. Just put a little dabble, do ya, of hot glue right there for our white. But oh, shut the front door. So cute. All right, let me get all my wispies out. I don't know, y'all. What do y'all think? I think it turned out really cute. Curl that a little bit. All right, are we stuck? I'm making sure I'm stuck. All right, look how cute it turned out. We might have to. Isn't that fun? What a fun little limit, y'all. That ribbon is just the cutest. I think it's cute. What? So fun. All right, y'all, do me a favor, because. I've got some lemon stuff in my kitchen, but not a lot. So, if um, you like this video, do me a favor and sprinkle, 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 which is just another way to say share with your friends. Share the video, and tomorrow I will put everybody that shares, share the video, sprinkle the video, put it in the comments that you sprinkled it, and we will pull a name and somebody will win it. So you'll win this cute little lemon sign. So sprinkle, thanks for hanging out with me. It didn't take too terribly long. I think my talking was <laughs> what took the longest. So anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I'll try to do some more videos after five because I know not everybody can make the lunchtime lives. So anyway. Happy pre-Friday, or technically I think it's already Friday. We're just going to go with that because Friday. <laughs> anyway, for those of you that are in my craft and chow group, I will see you at 8 p.m. Central with bells on. Bye, guys. Happy crafting. Love you.